Stay focused on your task at hand. The best way to get things done is to do one thing at a time. Welcome to Opportuno, Episode 7. Stay focused and be consistent. We all experience distractions. Some distractions are necessary. The key is to keep unnecessary distractions to a minimum. If you live in a real world, You have experienced the frustration of being interrupted at a time when your work or project was progressively and productively flowing forward. A study by the University of California, Irvine, found that it took on average 23 minutes, 15 seconds to get back on task once interrupted. The shorter the interruption, the quicker you can get back on task. If the interruption relates to the same subject you're working on, it takes less time to get back on task. However, if the interruption forces a complete change of direction on the subject of your thought processes, it takes a considerable amount of time to get back to where you were prior to the interruption. I am sure you have heard phrases like, in the zone, and In the groove, mental warm-up is required to get to that place where creative ideas flow and you know how and what to do next. According to this study by the University of California, Irvine, once a person is in their creative, productive zone, to get back to that same creative zone place will take an average of 23 minutes 15 seconds. Sometimes it's very difficult to get back to that exact same creative zone place after being interrupted. Imagine being interrupted repeatedly before you can spend the 23 minutes, 15 seconds getting back in the zone. Being constantly interrupted can cause frustration, stress, and depression. Authors are sometimes advised to simply start writing about anything, even if feeling uninspired, to overcome writer's block. That's similar to the effort of getting to your zone place where creativity flows. You just have to start the project to give yourself the best chance of arriving to your creative zone place. Stay focused on your task at hand. The best way to get things done is to do one thing at a time. Psychological scientists know that multitasking can lead to negative effects. Interruptions force multitasking. Attempting doing more than one task at a time can cause errors, longer task completion time, and less than desired results in one or more of the task. Attempts to switch tasks rapidly means it would take extra time to restart previous tasks. The goal-setting system taught in previous episodes of this podcast lays the rails to help keep your train of thought on track and get you back on track when distractions Derail your thought. Distractions can cause your train of thought to jump the track. Modern conveniences like fax, email, voicemail, text messages, and wire transfers implies you should move fast as well. Being consistent and ever moving forward toward your goal Using a systematic approach will get you there with better results. A racehorse can run at full gallop only so long. 
but can manage a trot or walk much longer. Even a racehorse will have to stop and rest, sleep and eat. You are no different. You have to pace yourself. A Chinese proverb states, Do not fear going slowly. Only fear standing still. End of quote. You must balance your business and personal goals. You are not successful if your business thrives while your family and friends are neglected. You can manage as many goals as your calendar will hold, but just be sure there is balance between business, family, friends, and personal rest and relaxation. The best way to get things done is to do one thing at a time. Focus on that one thing, do that one thing well, and move on to the next item you have to do. It is okay to go slow, but just stay focused and stay on track. Just this one principle of doing one thing at a time and doing that one thing well will greatly increase your overall productivity. Remember at the start of the race, the announcer would state, get ready, get set, go. Many people fail because they fail to take action or try to take action, but fail because they do not have an action system in place. Start small, but start. Get ready by learning how to set up your action steps system. Get set by setting up your action steps system. And go by doing your action steps one at a time on the dates and times they are to be accomplished. Let me encourage you to take that first step toward your destination. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Let the journey begin. I'm going to close out this podcast with the reading of a story and a poem. First, we'll read the story. I am sure most of you have heard the story about the tortoise and the hare, translated by Reverend George Filer Townsend in the year 1867. However, the underlying moral found in this story still applies today. The following is a story of the tortoise and the hare, translated by Reverend George Fowler Townsend in the year 1867. A hare one day ridiculed the short feet and slow pace of the tortoise. The latter, laughing, said, Though you be Swift as the wind, I will beat you in a race. The hare, deeming her assertion to be simply impossible, assented to the proposal, and they agreed that the fox should choose the course and fix the goal. On the day appointed for the race, they started together. The tortoise never for a moment stopped, but went on with a slow but steady pace straight to the end of the course. The hare, trusting to his native swiftness, cared little about the race, and lying down by the wayside, fell fast asleep. At last, waking up and moving as fast as he could, He saw the tortoise had reached the goal and was comfortably dozing after her fatigue. End of story. My father used to say, It's not the strength of the gale, but the set of the sail. This saying my father used to share with me originated from the poem, Tis the Set of the Sail. I'll close this podcast with the reading of that poem. This poem is entitled, Tis the Set of the Sail, 
published in the year 1916, by the American author, journalist and poet, Ella Wheeler Wilcox. Her home, in Short Beach, Connecticut, overlooked Granite Bay, a popular sailing area. Okay, now for the reading of the poem. Tis the set of the sail. But to every mind there openeth. Away, and way, and away. A high soul climbs the highway. And the low soul gropes the low. And in between on the misty flats. The rest drift to and fro. But to every man there openeth. A highway and a low. And every mind decideth. The way his soul shall go. One ship sails east. And another west. By the selfsame winds that blow. Tis the set of the sails. And not the gales. That tells the way we go. Like the winds of the sea. Are the waves of time. As we journey along through life. Tis the set of the soul. That determines the goal. And not the calm or the strife. That's all for now. Please visit our website, opportuno.org. That's spelled O-P-O-R-T-U-N-O dot O-R-G. Thank you. Thank you.